Who better to talk about legacy than two people involved and a big part of one of this country's finest legacies? That film is a biopic about Jack Layton. The woman behind it, Olivia Chow. A big part of this movie is the relationship between Jack and Olivia, the love story. Who's gonna play Olivia in the movie? Sookie and Lee. Both are here today, although I hear Olivia did all her own stunts. But before they both come out, I would love a Jack Layton Olivia action. That would've been amazing. Here's a clip. Um, there's something you should know about me. You're, you're married? Or... No. I live with my mother. Uh, okay. And I always will. It's traditional. Uh, that's fine. That's good. Ten years in civic politics, I'm not afraid of your mother. You should be. Please welcome Olivia Chow and Suk In Lee. Welcome. Nice. Oh, thank you. Nice to see you. How are you? Um, how are things? Good. You're well, good? yes. I like how much focus in this is on passion. That's a, not just passion politically, passion between you two and a busy bunch you two. And um, it's apparent in the film. Like it, there's there's a lot of passion that plays a big part of it. Did you was it was that intentional or did that happen? It's demanded of by the story as, as an actor, as a storyteller, I serve story. And I love that Olivia's, she, what I learned from my research was that, you know, she studied philosophy. She went to art school. She's a beautiful actor and painter. I was lucky to have her on set because there was one day I was doing a very deeply intense scene that had to go very heavy. And I got a note. <laughs> Hold it. Olivia says she would never wear patterns. <laughs> she doesn't wear, <laughs> Olivia doesn't wear flower patterns. It was a hospital <laughs> scene. It was a scene where Jack was really sick, yeah. right? You don't wear something that's <laughs> lowery. <laughs> and, 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 you know, it's like, just like it's person. supposed to be somber. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was like, get uh, five different options of non-patterns. What was it like to see somebody be Jack? Somebody come to life as Jack? Because it's pretty soon. What was that experience like for you? It wasn't really Jack. I mean, you well, know, know, it's Rick but... Roberts. And, and I, I'm able to detach in a way to, say, to see the, the incredible um, creativity, mm -hmm. the art involved in shaping the face. If you look at Rick Roberts, he didn't look like Jack at all. Mm -hmm. But when he walks on set with his makeup on, which took two hours a day, mm -hmm. um, he looked like Jack. I thought, wow. And I got to meet the artist that sculpted his face. I just finished making a sculpture of Jack's bust. And I, um, so I did a lot of work shaping Jack's face. And I know it's not easy to, to sculpt a person's face. So, so for me, a big part of my head's face is how could I do justice to the story? How do I help to make uh, Rick Roberts as close to looking like or behaving like Jack as much as possible. My experience with sculpting is watching Lionel Richie's Hello video. That's all I have. <laughs> when, you're, when you're sculpting Jack's face, that process, uh, very solitary? What was, w yes. Was it more than just the art? Was there something else happening for you there? Oh, well, of course, of course. I had, I downloaded, Jack had a lot of photos taken of him. <laughs> um, a huge number of, of photos. Um, put it on, I did it in the bedroom because there's not enough room. And that's the place where I can be alone and actually uh, do the work. Yeah. It, it was very therapeutic in some ways. It was very hard to do, as you can imagine. Um, the kids help. Um, Mike came in and said, well, that chin doesn't look quite the same. And Sarah said, the smile doesn't look quite, even, even my granddaughter got into the act. Yeah. Um, and my mom would come up every day and say, well, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that, you know? At what point are you the sculptor saying, everybody get out of the room? Yeah, yeah that's usually what I do, <laughs> yeah. But it, it's, a, it's a recreation, it's a connection. Um, Jack always wanted a bus done for him, for him and he saw the Tommy Douglas. They thought, oh, wow, that's quite nice. So mm -hmm. I finally was able to do one. So to see Rick Roberts being able to have a face that looked like Jack was just quite incredible. At any point, did it throw you off? No, it wasn't that close. 
<laughs> I, I threw, him, threw me off. Did it? Yeah, I was because I had seen him before, and then when I saw him, we were doing um, you know a test, makeup test, and so forth, and he was in a particular um, 2000s Jack look, and mm. I saw him transform and conduct a persona, and it, I was like, I wanted to run for the hills at that point because I just saw an actor embody embody a person. And I knew that I had to do that as well, and I, I it, there was a bit of resistance, how, how can I fall into this? So, but all the things came together, and when you're in Winnipeg, strange things happen. They sure do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could you foresee a time when you will be playing, you'll be doing a sequel, and it's called Olivia, Mayor of Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Could you ever see that? I wonder what drama will be there. This is how I get to ask her that question. It could be Hazel. Hazel. It could be Hazel. Hazel McCallion, the mayor. The mayor. The mayor. Hazel McCallion. The the hurricane. But she's going to be mayor for another 400 years. (laughs) Whatever Hazel's figured out, she's figured out. Is this like this is the big talk at some point that this is what you're going to you're going to do? I love the city. I love to come home to Toronto, but. What I'm going to be doing, I don't know yet. I'm listening to people's advice. Maybe I'll ask her advice. You know, ask your advice. And I'm glad to give it. And oh, okay. And yeah, you know, there are a lot of issues we need to tackle, and uh, I'll listen very carefully. So, Jack wanted to be mayor. Maybe I want to be a mayor too, but yeah. maybe not. Maybe I, I, perhaps I won't be able to do it. So, but you're you know, open to it. I am considering it. Thank you so much, Olivia. Hey. So, Ken, it's a real, it's a real honor to be with you. Nice to see you. I, yeah, it's so great to see you in, in action. I've never been in the studio, and I'm sh- shocked that you don't do any pre-interviews. No. It's just like we sit on the couch and you ask us questions. I just want to. We used to work Very together on Much Music for many years, so it's really nice to be able to say, well, because it's more fun this way. I yeah, learned a lot sure. watching you interview when I was watching Much, so it's good to see you. Sook in, Olivia Chow. You've got to watch the film. It's called Jack. Sunday, March the 10th. It's going to air right here on the Mother Network. It's called CBC. 8 o'clock is when you get to see it. We'll be right back.